Alright, yo yo yo, what is up guys? Starting today's video off, uh, showing you some parts that we acquired Lots over, over the, the weekend. weekend. So we're pretty stoked about all this stuff. Once again, big thank you if you sent us stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll show you what we got here. So, what taillights are these? Okay, first thing, we got some Kuki Rep taillights. Um, they look a lot better than these ones, and we gotta thank, his name is Claytonator on Instagram. Yeah. So thanks a lot, man. So we once again, we're writing your guys' names on the hood. Yeah. If you sent us any parts or donated anything, P.O. Box is in the description below if you want to send us anything or have any parts. So yeah, these taillights, uh, they were done in, with the VHT red spray and uh, you know, he missed a couple parts of the taillight as you can see. So we're going to be sanding that down and redoing the VHT in red. Uh, this centerpiece that's black, it wasn't painted that well and it's pretty scuffed up. So what we're going to do is Charles is going to use this red wrap to wrap the centerpiece there. And it's going to look sick, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we also got these new tension rods, uh, thanks to one of my friends from Lexus, his name is Ben. Yep. So his name's on the hood too, he hooked it up with those. See, like, check out the bushing on these bad boys. Yeah. And then look at ours. Uh, actually, I don't know if I can show you guys, but we have no bushing left on what's on the car, yeah, so that's dope. We also got these Ganador mirrors uh, from Giuseppe, so... Our good buddy Giuseppe, yeah, yeah, he... I guess he ordered them for his S15 or something and they didn't fit because they're for S13, but they're dope. They're hydro dripped this, like, cool carbon, yeah. so... Literally traded him a hat for these, so super cool. Yeah, and they're nice, man. Like, yeah, dude, check they're out. super... I want to use them for my car. Damn, damn. So, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's throw them on our cars. And then... Uh, Huge thank you to Auto Dream. Uh, they s hooked it up, sponsoring the build with a Link G4 ECU. So they got the harness here and the tuner here. It's a pretty small unit. So this is actually the ECU that I'm running in my car. It's uh, designed for four cylinder vehicles, the G4 Monsoon. So uh, yeah, they realized that we had the super old shitty SDS tuner and they wanted to help us out with this new, new age uh, tuner here. So, Artists. yeah, be sure to give Auto Dream a follow. Their description, their stuff will be below too. They do engine work, aftermarket modification, ECUs, wiring, tuning. So, Amazing, man. JDM, like, gods here. Like, yeah, they've been in, they're like the longest, they've been around the longest, OG I think. Tuners, they've been in the business for a long time. Yeah, well over 20 years. Right? Everything JDM, so. Yeah, make sure you give them a follow. Big thanks to Auto Dream for that. So, yeah, these parts are going to be thrown on the car today. And uh, yeah, Charles, as soon as this clip's done, he's gonna be starting wrapping this bitch. He's pretty hungover, yo, how's Chasing Summers, man? Sick. Shout out to everyone that said hello. <laughs> yeah, I heard you wore purple lipstick, man. No, man. <laughs> show him the picture, no. show him the picture. I'll show you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our good old buddy sponsorship, Mishimoto Rads, the best cooling rads. Uh, we have a brand new Mishimoto radiator coming in for this thing. Big shout out to Mishimoto. Uh, yeah, you know, all our cars are running them. We got a D21 starter because yeah. our engine's out of a like hard body, so it requires a different starter. Uh, so me and Charles picked this up on Friday from the old pick and pull. And uh, we need new belts too because the pulley sizes and everything are different. But yeah. we have the, uh, the pulleys as well. Oh, yeah, we do? Belt. Oh, right. Orientations are different. So we need a pulley puller. Yeah, they're, they're different. So, but. You know, everything's coming out together. We were going to originally, well not originally, but our plan was to get a externally gated turbo and pick up a new manifold, but we couldn't find one, so we're going to have to be reusing our, where is it? There it is. We should take it apart and then. Like, we're reusing that? I yeah. thought we were using your old one off your, your Sylvia. It's not going to work. No, not the turbo, the manifold. Oh, okay. yeah. So we're going to be using this manifold. Hopefully we can clean it up nicely. This turbo is junk, so we need a turbo. If any of you guys got turbos that are internally gated, because... Uh, yeah, S14, like anything stock from Sylvia. T3, or... T3 oh, right. Big, big thing. Over. It has to be T3, and it has to be a top mount turbo setup. Yeah. Otherwise, the elbow will be pointing up. Gated. Yeah, internally yeah. gated. You know. But, uh, you know, that's about it. Should have this thing running week or two? Well, we kind of have to because Dread yeah. is in two weeks. Have to have this thing running within like a week or two? Yeah. <laughs> Duke's coming to town. Is he? Yeah, so he still is. this thing. Yeah. Ooh. 
<laughs> I don't think we should slide till after the road trip, though. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't want to risk anything popping, man. Car, man. It'll be a drift car after driven, man. <laughs> well, how are we going to badge it as a drift car at driven if we haven't even drifted it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll do some skids. That's a, that's a flawed a logic right there. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe or build drift car. Yeah. People in Edmonton will be like, go oh, do a drift. In, never uh, in, <laughs> hasn't been done. We don't want to break it. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video, but we picked up all new hardware for the bay. Damn, look at that paint. Yeah, we use a nice bolt refresher kit. Got these nice black bolts, gold washers, black bolts, distributors all mounted. Uh, yeah, new OEM upgrade. There's our old school fuel pressure regulator there. And uh, yeah, it's going about things, ordering some things, working on things, installing things, doing things. Things, yeah. yeah, a lot of things. All right, so these are going to be a little harder than we thought to mount because this plastic piece at the bottom hits the door. Uh, I think they were for S14, as Jesse was just saying, so none of the holes line up for one. But when we try to, like, um, it still interferes with the door down here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, you can see, like, this panel here. So maybe we'll trim this off, or maybe we'll figure something out. But yeah. Update on a little trim piece. Charles had some leftover wrap from his car, so we're using that. Hopefully it matches somewhat close. It'll probably be a little bit off, but, you know, I'm just you're going to have to ignore it. Not like we're gonna be beating anybody, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jesse's working on getting the taillights off now. Here's a before shot of our OEM. Yeah, did, like a fake kooky thing the other mod day. here. So uh, yeah, that's just painted black. We're gonna get rid of all of this. Top voted comment wins is don't, all I'm saying. Is all I'm saying. Don't you dare. <laughs> all right, we're just uh, on our way to get some full and then pick up some paint for the valve cover. Top comment was to do uh, teal, teal. With black flake. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. So that's what we're doing. First full though, and then we're get, also getting VHT uh, spray for the for the uh, tail lights. Specifically took it out for that. Just kidding. Just creeping on people. <laughs> Up until the road gets shit, he's holding his wheel. Looks like the only teal too. Bright Calypso. These are all OEM colors. Like there's actual paint down here. Which this to this? Which colors? Uh, I kind of like this one, but this one might I match like the blue. I think this will match the glitter better. All right. All right, we're back from running our uh, errands here. It's just sanding down the valve cover now. It's been nice and polished. Cleaning this thing up. And then, uh, where's our cans right here? So yeah, like I said, we're going to be doing the uh, mint teal color with the black sparkles, reverse of the bay like you guys wanted, so. Should be pretty sick. Yeah, it should be really sick. The bay's coming together, it's looking really nice. So yeah, the reason for that, uh, Epic full montage was because 
they were literally playing that type of music at the full place, so. Yeah, it was like the whole to, meal. <laughs> trying to eat our food and it's just like. Da, da, da. They have like ep epic warrior, like yeah, gladiator. gladiator type music. And <laughs> you were like, this is the most epic full <laughs> experience. It so was, yeah, uh, we tried to recreate what we were going through there. And now, valve cover is all shiny and sanded and clean, yes, brake cleaned. So here's the before. Oh, oh, dude, that's nice. Taped up, good to go for sprays. Long, even strokes. Got this. Talk to your girl. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, I was on the phone with my girl. <laughs> Just walk her in for a second. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alright, should be good for first layer. Yeah. Ooh. Should we cut those tailors? Yeah, probably. Looking good. Alright, All right, it's ready for the last heavy coat. Check it out. It's pretty mint. And then, uh, like we, like same thing with the bay. Once it's wet, we're doing the salt shaker salt bay. Bay part two. Yeah, <laughs> Charles knows the technique well, so he's redoing it. We got the intense music cued. Not too heavy. Oh, there's the drops. It's coming in so like, easy. What? Yeah. There it is. This man's. <laughs> Anyone know whose man's this is? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Look at all that glitter. I don't know glitter if the camera's. Everywhere. Yeah. You can see it falling from the sky. Ooh, yo, that's nice. It's like mint chocolate. Yeah. Like where you are, your mint ice cream. Damn. Cool, sparkles from the Yeah. Should we get the sides a bit? I don't Maybe in your hand and toss it. <laughs> It'd be hard to keep even. Yeah, okay, there we go. It's kind of... <laughs> Slow mo at this point. I get this. <laughs> Epic angle. <laughs> You're <laughs> like a fucking fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Look like one do. And a... Nice. Yo, I like that. It's pretty dope. Blaming though. Damn, yeah, it is. Hit it with the clear now. Is that good for glitter, you think? Yeah, come take a close look. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, same. Any more, and I think it'll take away from the, the clear. Or the teal. The black glitter doesn't really pop. It's a shiny. Yeah, it does. Shiny one too. Now we're gonna go to town with the clear coat. Alright. Buffing and polishing and cleaning up the tail lights. Me and Charles put on the good old valve cover here. Yo, we should pull this in front of the engine bay. Yeah. Dude, like this a, looks amazing. Got like a teaser shot. And we got like black hardware for it too to match. It's, it's looking bad, it's dope. It's looking really good. Good, good choice, guys. Good, good choice. choice. Great choice. Although this is kind of my idea to begin with. It's Whoa! Cool. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you. Yo, it's looking dope though. Yeah, we should put it in front of here, see how it's gonna look. Damn, look at that.
Got to clean up the rest of this engine now. All right, we threw the engine in front of the car. So that is what it's going to look like, kind of. It's a little bit darker in person. Yeah. And then I uh, just took the turbo off the manifold. So we're going to clean this thing up, use brushes and brake clean and stuff, and then probably just paint it high heat black paint because there's no restoring this. Yeah, 20 years old, so. But still good. Yeah. It's still very solid, no cracks. Yeah, not bad. And it's twin scroll. Yeah. Kind of. Twin scroll manifold with just a non-twin scroll turbo, but yeah. that's pretty cool. Uh, this turbo, we're gonna try cleaning it up because, like we said, it's all caked, it's all caked and sludged and stuff. Nice. So, and then uh, here's the tail light progress, before nice and, and red before and after. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So obviously we still need to wet sand it and polish it, make it smooth. Yeah. Looks way better. Yeah, what are we gonna sand it with? Like 2000? Yeah, we have like high grit sand. Perfect. Yeah, let's even just use this polishing compound. Sure. That's perfect, yeah. So, yeah, it's a little rough. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. There you go. So, throw the good old wax on there and see how it looks. Glitter? Glitter. <laughs> We're all about glitter the glitter wheels. now. Glitter wheels. So, uh, I'm gonna clean this up now. So, here's the manifold after being sanded and cleaned up a lot better but it's still pretty rusty but best that we can get it so now we're gonna tape up the uh, side that hook attaches to the turbo and the engine and then we're gonna paint it with high heat black rust paint and it should turn out minty and then we can uh, get new hardware for it tomorrow bolt it on the tarp yeah but god damn look at that difference way better we're gonna wait to wet sand it tomorrow so this yeah. The VHT stuff settles, but uh, I got the exhaust manifold all taped up here, ready for the uh, paint. So yeah, this is the last before. Check it out, so exhaust manifold all painted black, just mocked up here to see how it looks. It's a nice shiny turbo on top. Came out dope. Look at that. Oh damn. All right, so we just took the water pump slash clutch fan off uh, the original engine and put it on here. It's all cocked, good to go. Reason being, I don't know if we explained it, but the pulley ribs are different from the truck KA to the 240 KA. Yeah, so next we have to transfer the harmonic balancer. And then we can start putting like power steering and alternator and all that stuff back on. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go get food right now. Then we're gonna go with pulling off the uh, harmonic balancer. Yeah. And I got the return on here, kinda just mocked up this thing. It's gonna look dope. I guess, uh, I guess that means this is the end of the video. Yeah, so. Comments down below, or what should we do to this thing next? Well, kinda, I wanna show Keep this. Mind, budget bill. Yeah. Any more suggestions for this thing? Comment it below. Most voted comment wins. Keep it cool, keep it realistic. Also, uh, locals.bigcartel.com will no longer be in existence in the next few weeks because we have something much, much bigger coming. So hop on there, um, you know, get as much as you can while it's still open and then yeah. it'll, it'll close down. The local store is closing. So we're doing a big flash sale, lots of products. Well, not really lots. Shit's we're moving quick. Yeah. yeah, we're almost out. So last chance to get some uh, slap stickers die cuts, hats, lanyards, lanyards you know, jet tags. tags, stuff like that. So yeah, be sure to, link will be in the bio, closing soon. Uh, yeah, all of you guys, all of you guys' contributions to yeah. the store are going into this car. Like so. we said earlier, names are going on the hood. Uh, we're gonna put the top commenter names there too, oh. so, you know. Top commenters win comments, too. So what should we do to this thing? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, exhaust. Uh, I don't know if we did that in the last video, but you know we need an exhaust for this. We need suggestions on what we can do. Like, 
Personally, I think blast pipes are cool, but. Yeah, same. So we could either do fart cannon or blast pipes or. And if we do blast pipes, like if you guys have a suggestion, don't just say blast pipes. Do like very specific, exactly what we should do, like, you know. Like 20 feet like long that. out of the car, yeah. <laughs> angled up beside each other, cut up uneven, yeah. so. Well, let's not make it look stupid, so. Yeah. Cool suggestions only. And uh, yeah.